In this presentation, we will record a transaction related to a sale of an investment and the gain related to the sale of investment. Time to rise above the crowd with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to start off by looking at our financial statements. So we're going to go to the reports drop down. We're going to be opening up the financial statements. We're going to be taking a look at the balance sheet. So we'll open up that balance sheet. It's going to be for the month of February. That's what we want. So I'm going to say, okay, there's the month of February. I'm going to make this large. And we're going to be considering this investment now. So we have the investment in E-Trade, you'll recall, of the $12,000. We're imagining that that's going to be in something like stocks and bonds. And then at this point in time, we're going to make a sale. We're going to sell it. We're going to say, hey, they went up in value. We're going to make the sale hell, uh, the sale at this point in time. So buy low, sell high. That's my motto. So it went up. So we're going to sell it at this point. So we're going to record then the deposit that we're going to receive. The deposit we're going to say is for 17000 So we'll have the deposit going up. The other side is going to be to the investment, which is going to be decreasing this investment account. And then we're going to have a gain that we're going to have to record on that. So this will be another transaction that's a little bit unusual in that it's not something that's going to happen every day and therefore it's not part of the normal kind of flow chart that we would typically see. There's not going to be a form specifically related to this transaction given the fact that it doesn't happen every day. Now there is cash affected so therefore the next thing we can think about before going to the journal entry would say hey, is cash affected? Is there a form that we want to record in this case related to a deposit or possibly we could use the check register to enter this information. Now I'm going to jump back over to our information. We're in the customers and sales now. Now if I go down to the banking section, we have our options down in the banking uh, section. We can say it's a receive money. So we could enter it in a receive money from customer type form, even though it's not from a customer in this case, it's from a sale. Or we can go directly into our register. Let's do that. Let's go to the account register here. And I want to open up that register. I'm going to make this large. I'm going to make this for the register of the um, checking account. So I'm going to select the drop down and pick the 20, the 1020, which is going to be our checking account. And then I'll enter this into our system down below. I'm going to say that this is going to happen on February, let's say, 2nd. And then we're going to say this is going to be a deposit. So this is money coming in. So it's going to be a receipt. And then we could say from investments, we could say E-Trade for, uh, for the reference or the sale. We could say for the reference, the payee is going to be E-Trade. The account there is where things get a little bit tricky because we're going to have multiple accounts that are going to be affected here. So what's going to happen is the we have a deposit. We're going to say the deposit was for 17000 So we need to be increasing the, the cash by the 17000 and then we need to decrease what's going to be on uh, the, the, the asset of the 12000 And then the difference is going to be going to some type of gain. So let's see if we can use this split item. So I'm going to say we need a split item here. And I'm going to say that uh, we had an asset on the books. So the asset on the books was an, was an investment in E-Trade. It was on the books for 12000 So this we need to be decreasing the E-Trade by the 12000 thousand and then the other is going to be going to some kind of gain so it's got to be a gain capital gain gain on investments so i'm going to scroll all the way down and see if we have something like that if we go all the way down to the bottom here we have the gain loss sale of assets uh assets expense i'm going to pick that one i'm going to say that's going to be it and that one i'm going to say is going to be five thousand so there is the two because those should add up to then the 17,000 that's going to be going into the, the cash. So I'm going to say OK here. And our split is in place. Then we have uh, the payment and the receipt amount, which is going to be the 17,000. So there is that and sales tax. So what's going to happen when we do this? Is the deposit is going to go, go up by 17,000, the amount we sold it for. The uh, investment's going to go down by 12,000 to zero. Then on the income statement, we should have that 5,000 income or increase on the gain. Let's save it and then check it out. So we're going to say save. And then the check amount does not match the total amount uh, distributed in the split. Return to the split. Well, that's not good. So if we go to the split, we're going to say that we have the investments of the 12,000. And this, so it, it, I see what happened here. 
See, it tried to it tried to solve the transaction for like in the seventeen thousand here, because this amount was not yet in place. So I'm going to delete this sales amount, and there we have it. Now we should match out. So I'm going to say OK, and let's try it again. So I'm going to say save, please. There we have it. Now let's go to our financial. So I'm going to close this back out. We're going to open up our balance sheet. So let's open up that balance sheet. Then go into the checking account. Within the checking account, we then see that 17,000. There's a 17,000. Double clicking on it takes us to our register. Closing this back out, closing this back out. The other side of that 17,000 would be in the investment, which is now gone because it went down to zero. If we want to see it, we can go to the op the options up top and we could say, hey, why don't you show me the zero balance accounts? Because I'd like to see that one zero balance that went to zero just to see that uh, it did what I thought it should. And so we're going to go into there. There's the investment in E-Trade. It's now at zero. But if we double click on it, then we could see it went down by that 12,000. That looks good. Other side's going to be on the P&L, the profit and loss, the income statement. So let's go ahead and open that report back to our financial statement reports. Income statement. We'll open up the old income statement. Double click in that. It's going to be for the month of February. I don't need to see the zero amounts. Therefore, I'm going to remove them and then say OK. There we have it. So there's our uh, our gain in this case of the 5,000. So we have the gain. So now we're at uh, a, a gain of the 4,404 and total on the year 1,333 still in the negative. So that's going to be it. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.